Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, this is going to be another one of those unscripted ones. So I really like to do overhead shots for when I'm doing like product reviews, that kind of stuff. Um, and I sometimes find it quite difficult, but I managed to find something online that I think is going to make a real big difference. It's the Glide Gear OH100. So it's a rig where it, it's a rig that sits on your desk and it has an attachment that you can hold your camera up upside down, which is great. Um, well, I, I'm hoping it's great at least. I've seen it on a few YouTube videos before, but it's not really been available in the UK, but I finally found it on Amazon. Um, it's a little bit pricey, it's £160. So as everyone knows, overhead shots can be kind of tricky. Even if you can get your tripod to fit at that angle, sometimes it's not the best. You can see the tripod legs, that kind of stuff. This should solve all that. So what we'll do in this video, we'll put it together, we'll give it a go, see whether it's worth it for me and whether it's worth it for you as well. Let's get straight into the unboxing and the build. So this is obviously massively sped up because I'm not going to waste your time making you watch me build it. Um, but one thing you can see from this I have my A6400 on my tripod trying to do an overhead shot here and you can see the tripod legs in the picture so that kind of shows you the problem that I'm trying to get around by putting this rig together um, I don't know if you can tell from the very sped up video the process of putting it together is pretty straightforward um, all the pieces feel pretty sturdy which is nice and yeah so far it seems like it's a good piece of kit One thing I would suggest to Glide Gear, um, if they're going to update this in the future, is maybe worth putting some sort of lettering on the actual parts themselves so that it matches up with the manual um, and same with the screws. Because that's the only thing really is a little bit tricky to figure out which bits are which at first. Um, but once you do figure it out, it's pretty straightforward. So now the rig is put together. Um, it didn't take me too long, probably about 10-15 minutes overall. Um, and I could probably do it quicker if I was paying more attention to the instructions. Um, but yeah, it feels pretty sturdy. Um, you can see all these quarter inch holes around the thing. That's really cool because you can plug basically whatever you want into it. Um, and you can see these extra things on the floor. So there's some L brackets if you want to extend things. Um, and there's also some clips if you want to hang a backdrop of it, that kind of stuff. Um, so that can be pretty handy if you're doing photography and whatnot. But yeah, let's get back to the rest of the video. Okay, so you can see the setup was actually pretty straightforward. Um, the instructions weren't as clear as I'd have liked because um, some of the parts were actually already done, which obviously makes things easier, but yeah, it'd have been nice to know that. And you can actually see it hanging out in the back here. So I haven't put my camera on it yet, but everything feels pretty steady. So I'm going to pick the camera up and we're going to move over there and see how it goes. Okay, so this is the moment of truth, I guess. Um, I have attached my Ulanzi quick release plate to it. Um, so hopefully everything's going to go smoothly. Um, but yeah, let's see how it goes. Okay, this is a little bit fiddly, but only because my monitor and the stand are quite close to each other at the moment. Um, but once I figure all that out, I'm sure it'll be fine. And it should click into place nicely. Okay, so the camera's on and it looks pretty secure. Um, I can't obviously see what the camera's seeing yet, so I'm going to get my monitor as well, so I can see that. So I've got myself a little quarter inch screw and a cold shoe adapter um, so that this is how I can attach the monitor and one of the cool things about this is there's all there's tons of there's tons of holes for the quarter inch screws so so you can kind of customize it as much as you want so apologies if this is shaky I'm holding my, I'm holding the phone in one hand um, but yeah you can see this is the view from the monitor um, it looks pretty good it's a nice top-down shot there's my there's my there's my A6400 hanging off with a HDMI cable sticking out and my camera cable. Obviously, I'd usually move that out of the way. You can see the view is pretty clear. Um, so I'm using the Sony kit lens. Um, so this is at 16 mil, I think, um, and then I can zoom in, obviously. But I'm going to leave it at the widest angle, so 16, just because you want to get most of the desk in. And let's just move a few things into the view. Um, and obviously, yeah, you, depending on the size of your desk, you can adjust the positioning. Um, my desk is quite small, so this is basically all I can get. But, you know, it gets a pretty cool effect. So, you know, if I want to do some product shots, this is my this is my Keychron K2. Let's get some RGB lights going there just for the sake of it. So, you know, now I can show off my keyboard quite nicely or, you know, look at... Or we can look at the desk in a, as a whole. Um, so this is also quite a nice view if you want to, you know, do some phone demos and that kind of stuff. And you can see everything pretty nicely. Um, I would obviously work on getting the focus and stuff sorted for another video. This is just me showing you the thing. Um, this is also probably pretty great for thumbnails. You can have things set up around and, you know, do your nice classic YouTube thumbnails, that kind of stuff. Um, but yeah, overall, I, pretty, I quite like it. I think it's a pretty good setup. 
like I said, it is a bit expensive. It's 160 pounds, but it is very high quality. It feels pretty stable. Um, I'm not scared that my camera is going to fall at all. Um, so that's good. If I shake the table, it doesn't really shake much again, which is great, but obviously I don't recommend shaking the table. Um, yeah, so if you're a YouTube content creator or even if you're just someone who takes product for photography, this is really handy because um, you can keep your hands completely free, your camera's going. Um, and yeah, and the versatility, like I said, there's quarter inch holes all over this thing. There's at least eight, there's at least 10 that I can count, uh, maybe even more that I haven't figured out yet. So you can attach things, like I said, like a monitor, a light, whatever you want, and you can basically have like a little complete studio set up all in this one piece of kit. And the other good thing about it, as you saw, it was tool to build. Everything is thumb screws um, and it still manages to feel pretty stable. So if you did want to take it apart and transport it in a pinch, you could do that pretty easily. Um, and yeah, everything feels pretty good. Pretty good. If you did like this video, give me a thumbs up and subscribe. That would really help me out and know that you guys want to see more content like this. Um, and if you think you're going to pick something up like this, I'll leave a link in the description where you can check it out. Um, and yeah, I will catch you in the next one.